Um, I will not subscribe, no matter how good it is, though, because I don't need CBS on demand. Who does? Oh, yikes. <laughs> and I know how you feel about that. <laughs> Oh, I'm very, very excited. Do I sound it? <laughs> he says. Uh, it is. And um, I knew what the other two were. And one of them is One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, which we both have in common, um, having done that on stage. <clears throat> yeah, that, that'll come near the end. That's a little teaser for you if you don't know what that is. Mm -hmm. And then when I told my mother how great it was, she kind of uh, raked me over the coals and said, I tried to get you to read Red Dragon years ago. He uh, put him, he drugged him, put him in the bathtub, uh, slit his throat, drained the blood from his body, and then sliced it up into tiny pieces and put it into a box. Then he took the box to a farm. That's another teaser. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting good at this podcasting stuff. <laughs> I love that sequence. It's those those long shots, the silence between lines and dialogue. He wasn't going to kill Barney because Barney's good to him. <laughs> Get me out of here, you stupid bitch. Don't you leave me here. <laughs> Truman Capote, Catherine Hepburn, you can go back and look. You'll see. No, you got to shake that shit up. Oh, very much so. And, and that's the way I write. I mean, I've, obviously, I've only written a couple of books. But the first book I wrote, I was like, I don't want this to be in order. Mm -hmm. And you're just like, girl, turn around. <laughs> I hate to break away, but. I have got to go to the bathroom. You know, gay people can kill people too. There are bad gay people. I know plenty of them. You know, people just have to protest. Fuck people. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> um, because it's not, you know, Annabelle or whatever the fuck the new doll movie is. I don't know. <laughs> they all sound the same. <laughs> they suck. <laughs>